When I was just a little guitar player, my parents were big fans of Gordon Lightfoot, who just passed away uh, yesterday. And uh, I used to sit in my parents' living room and listen to Gordon Lightfoot records over and over again, uh, fascinated with the first few albums. This is one of the songs off the first album called Steel Rail Blues. On the original uh, Lightfoot album, the guitar you're hearing is both Red Shea and Gordon Lightfoot playing two complementary parts. We can't play two guitar players' parts with two hands. So what I do is I modify and rearrange the guitar parts into an amalgamation, a combination of the two different guitar parts. And that's what I'm going to teach you today, is a guitar arrangement of Steel Rail Blues that is my own arrangement that is meant to replicate the feel and sound of a combination of the two original guitar parts. This is a part intended for you to be able to take this arrangement, go away and play it, and it's going to sound very, very reminiscent of the original recording. It'll have the same rhythm and flavor, but it's not the exact same guitar parts. So that for the most part, Steel Rail Blues is built on this simple rhythmic pattern. We're playing a C with a G bass, basically, and that's so that we can play an alternating bass on all the C chords. And we're playing this. One, two, and three, and four, and so you can master this song very, very quickly if you just spend a little, invest a little bit of time in getting very comfortable with that rhythm. The only other main rhythm that we use is in the turnaround where we play one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... The turnaround at the end of each verse is the... I'll show you that in detail in a moment. Let's start having a look at Steel Rail Blues. The beginning part, it opens up on a C chord pattern. So I'm playing a C with a G bass because there's an alternating bass, okay? So I'm playing uh, A string, D string, G string. And then I'm going to the low E and playing low E, B, D, G. So here it is. And then the second half is this. Okay, so that's the, uh, the first pattern. And we play that several times at the beginning. I think he plays it a couple of times and then he starts the singing. Maybe two times. And then the singing starts. Got my mail late last night. Letter from a girl. Then we switch to C7. The first half of the measure is the same as the C. Then what we do is in the second half, we start the same way, but what we're gonna do is gonna move our pinky from A string to G string. So here's how I play that fourth measure. Okay, so I move the pinky on the three beat ahead of when I need it. I don't actually play that note on the G string till the very last beat, 4N. So here again is the C7 measure. So you have lots of time to move the pinky, but you're going to have to practice that motion. Play the beginning three beats, the 1, 2 end. Then when you're playing the two, the three beat, when you're playing the three beat on the low E string, that's when we move our pinky onto the G string. And then your pinky's already on the G string where you need it. After that, we switch to, okay, so this is really an F add nine chord. We are going to switch to an F. We're just playing the D and G. We're skipping the A string altogether here. And we're putting our pinky here on the high E string. And that gives us this. And this, he's liberally sprinkling this G note in to give this add nine a really bright sound. So it goes. To the lonesome boy, somewhere in the... And then back to a C, but I leave the add nine on there now. So that's a... Uh, uh, it's just a high five on the chord. And that, uh, sorry, I'm going to play that again. C with the, with the uh, high G on it. We just play that one measure, and then we switch back to this F add 9 for three more measures. 
send me a railroad ticket to take me to her loving and then back to C but still with the high G arms big steel now we go through uh, an, a measure of A minor we just switch to A minor and we're just playing A minor on the middle four strings Now we're going to play C, E minor, A minor, G, a half measure each. We're playing most of this, until we get to the G, we're playing the C, E minor, and A minor, all on the middle four strings, and all with the same picking pattern, and that's what makes it so easy to do. The right hand doesn't change what it's doing on these first three chords. And the timing is one and two and three and four and five and two and three and four and four and okay. one and On this one, we take the ring finger off the G on, on the uh, two end beat to get a, a G note that leads us to the G chord at the end. And then we're just going to a G, but really we're only holding down the G on the low E string and the rest are open strings. So this is very, very easy to play. We play this. Okay. Here's a slightly slowed down playthrough so that you can see what my hands are doing as we play through these changes. It's very simple. It's mostly the C with the F add 9 and then the A minor G and the little turnaround at the end. Here we go. That's about it. Well, I got my mail late last night. Letter from a girl who found the time to write. To a lonesome boy somewheres in the night Sent me a railroad ticket to To take me to her loving arms And a big steel railroad carry me home To the woman There you go. That's the outline of the main verse of Steel Rail Blues. I'm going to do a second video where I outline the guitar parts for the vocal interlude that he uh, intersperses as a refrain in between several of the verses. Uh, so come on back and uh, join me for that one. If you're enjoying these videos, please give me a like and please come on back and visit Bonner Guitar again soon.